Well, I am enjoying it. I feel like a little kid all over again. I'm loving these lights and I'm here with the homeowner who did all of this. Um, I'm here with Doug Allred. And so tell me, how long does this take? It takes, well, we start late September and we try to get them up by Thanksgiving. So it takes about two months. Two months. And I know you mentioned Nicole kind of backed you guys up a little bit, but it didn't set you guys back. No, nah, we got, we were lucky. I mean, we did uh, have to redo a few things, but all the stuff that we already had in the air stayed up. So it was Right. Good. And so a neighbor told, tells me every single year gets bigger and better. Um, is that true? More people come and uh, I mean, how many people do you expect usually every year? Oh, well, it's it, it, uh, if I tell you the number, you'll probably be shocked. Like tonight's going to be a big night. There'll probably be a thousand people go through the yard tonight. As it gets closer to Christmas on the Fridays and Saturday nights, there's probably a, 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 you know, a couple thousand people go through it and, uh, each night. So it'll be packed. Sometimes it's, you know, it's kind of elbow room in here. So. Right. And so one mother just said that she's just so thankful for you putting on a show like this. Uh, what is your favorite part of being a homeowner and putting on a show like this in this neighborhood? Uh, hearing all the kids laugh, but you can, if you listen, you can hear them laugh. They, they love it and, uh, and it makes it worth the doing. Yeah. Gotcha. And um, how long does this, I mean, it goes, it starts pretty much when it gets dark, right? And when time does it end? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. We figure we take it easy on the neighbors and because uh, it does draw a lot of traffic into the neighborhood. So we go from 5 until 10. All right, guys, 5 until 10. You don't want to miss it. I'm enjoying these lights and I'm sure you will too. I'm live here in Jacksonville. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.